Hey YouTube, it's me Fancy and um, I'm coming to do a video tonight for more than one reason. Um, the simple stuff I'm going to get out of the way. Um, I would like to say to my viewers, the ones that I do have, those of you who have not went to my blog yet, uh, if you could please go and check that out and subscribe and join if you would like. Um, it's not the best blog yet as far as set up because um, I'm not computer savvy. I don't know much about computers. And um, the blog has only been up for a month, about a month and a half, a little over a month and a half. And it's um, going to take some time for me to really um, get things up to par where it needs to be. But as far as the quality and stuff of my articles, I do my best to make sure I do well with that. I try to put up more than just um, makeup and I try to make sales suggestions and um, I'm even going to start um, doing articles about, you know, finding the right type of co coloring and styles for your skin and your shape and I'm going to start mixing it up and doing a lot of different things. I'm pretty diligent over my blog entries. I try to do at least one a day. If I skip a day, I'm going to double up the next day. Actually, I try to do about two a day. About two a day. And if I skip a day, I double up the next day. But I try to be pretty diligent over the blog. So, um, if you have not yet visited my blog, I would like it if you would do so. Um, and also, I went to Sephora today to get some things for um, the blog because I needed some more stuff to do blog entries on. And I actually went last week because I'm, you know, starting a little small makeup thing. I'm going to become a freelance makeup artist, but right now I'm starting small. So I've been going back and forth to Sephora to um, figure out pricing for a lot of stuff. And um, while I was there last week, I got some samples for uh, a few different things. One of them was the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I did a review on it. Um, that review isn't up yet, but I'm going to upload it within the next week or so. But um, let me just tell y'all, I loved, loved, absolutely loved this moisturizer. I do plan to go back and purchase it, and that will be my everyday um, foundation for my face because it's very light. It's not like a regular foundation, and it's like a tinted moisturizer is supposed to be. It does simply that. It adds a hint of color, and it moisturizes your face. It does not make you look heavy like you have on tons of makeup. It looks like skin, and it felt like skin. It was it was worth it. It's $40 to two, but the tubes are pretty large, and you only need a little bit. You'll see in the video that I post up, you only need a little bit to actually make it look like something so it'll last you um something else I got was um because I don't wear a lot of name brand makeup but it's not to say that I don't use it I wear it but not a lot my makeup of choice is lighter stuff like my Revlon color stay I absolutely love before that I was using MAC as my foundation but I I don't want to look too made up all through the week and people that know me know I wear makeup all the time, but it's not expensive makeup. It's a lot of drugstore items and stuff that I got online that I actually like. But because, you know, I'm I'm knowledgeable about certain makeup products and items and brands, but I want to become familiar with using them now, considering that I'm, you know, going full force into this business. So anyway, I say all that to say, um, Makeup Forever's brand, their HD foundation. I tried that. I have two different ones in 180 and in 178. I believe 178 was too light for me so even though I have both of them last night I tried the one at 180 and um, I loved it. Believe it or not it was nice on my skin. It did it did make me look really made up. That's something that I would use for pictures. Um, I'm planning on working with a few pastors and stuff in the near future so for people who are on TV that's something that I would use if for special occasions. I would use that. But to be honest, the HD makeup is not something that I would wear every day on my skin. I just don't, don't want to look that made up. I have issues with my skin, but it's not to the point where I need to wear something that thick. 
I love the finish that it gave, but that's for something more serious. Like right now, I don't have on any foundation. And I know my skin doesn't look flawless, but I can also tell that it's not going to take a gazillion things for me to make it look smooth. So I loved it, but it's not something that I would do every day. So um, today I got the um, NARS Bronzer and Laguna. I'm going to try that Sunday um, to see how that looks. And I got uh, some perfume. Lady Million, um, Touch of Pink, I'll let you guys know how that goes. I did try last week, and I am going to vlog on it, my Gucci by Gucci, and Gucci Guilty, and I love them. At first, I was like, because I'm a girly girl, I was like, when my cousin gave it to me, I was like, I don't know how this is going to smell, but... When I first put it on, I didn't like it. But once it settled, I loved it. I'm in love with it. So I don't know if anybody has that or that's something that's worth getting. Especially if you like earthy type tones. Uh, I'm listening at me talking about tones. If you like earthy type scents, that would be it. I loved it. So, um, what else about Sephora? Gucci by Gucci. Oh, today I went and I got... Um, thanks to my cousin. She just a Sephora freak. Shout out to Farrah. But yeah, she is a Sephora freak. And she be having me blog on all kinds of stuff. I put it away. I just had it. Hold on. Oh, here it is. I got so many eyeliners and... Meshes be everywhere. So, um, today I went to Sephora and I got this, um, uh, eye pencil and number two black, glitter black. And, um, I have it on now. I don't know if you can really tell, but, uh, I love really, really black eyeliners because I'm dark skinned and I just feel like they bring out the white in my eyes better. It makes me look a little, I don't, I don't want to use the word brighter because that's not what I'm trying to look brighter. I, I like my skin complexion. But it makes me look clearer. It makes me look more aware. I don't know the right word to use, but it just makes me look awake, I guess you could say. So... Okay, so I won't put that on this end. So I put it on this end. So I like really, really black eyeliner. And this is a black, black, black eyeliner. I don't know if you can see it. That was bad. If you can see, that's a really black eyeliner. And it has little specks of glitter in it. But the thing that I like about it is it's not glittery where you can notice. It's glittery if you really, really look at it, but it's not something that's going to jump out at you. Because I'm not a glitter fan like that. I don't really... I ain't going to say I don't like it because I've seen other people wear it and I love it and I think it's absolutely beautiful. But I almost think glitter makes me break out. So I'm not a huge fan of it like that. And I also got... Um... I'm going to do an NYC review because i got to tell y'all about this bronzer. But that's not what I'm talking about right now. I also got from Sephora um, a little blush me. And it's in Rose Rebel. That's what it looks like. And this is a swatch of it. I don't know if you can see it. That's what it looks like. Really pretty. I love it. Um, they had a lot of other really pretty colors. Okay, I was saying, they had a lot of other really, really pretty colors. But every color, except this one, and another really, really light one that was way too light for me, that could only be used for a highlight. And I have way too many highlights. Not way too many, but enough highlights as it is. Um, all of them had like this shimmer sheen to it. And I don't like that in my blush right now. 
I'm not going to say I would never like it because maybe, but I don't want that in my blush right now. I'm kind of like into my matte blushes and I love them, especially these subtle colors because I have it on now and I don't know if you can really see it. It's there, but I don't have rosy, rosy cheeks. It's just enough to make me look alive and not washed out. I don't have on any foundation. I just have on a little highlight and blush, but it's enough to keep me from looking like washed out. It's not a whole bunch of it. It's very subtle, and I like those kind of blushes. I have other blushes that I could use when I really want to look like I have on blush for something a little more dramatic. For something simple every day, I was really looking for a pinky color because I have other ones. But that one was like perfect. It was what I needed. And I also got lip gloss. I got this one, Sephora lip gloss, in the buff. And it's what I have on my lips now. My lip liner is a little bit too dark for it, but oh well. I have it on my lips now. Um, I love the color. But this is my issue, and this is my first time using Sephora brand anything. I've gotten things from Sephora, but not actually Sephora brand something. I don't like the feel of this lip gloss. Color was gorgeous. But I think I can consider myself a lip gloss expert. Because I got a thing about my lips and my eyes. And I don't like dry lips. So I know quite a bit about lip gloss. And the feel of this lip gloss is, is not bad, but it's not great. I like the color, but it's not great. The feel of it. I'm big on textures. The feel of it isn't great. But anyway, I love the color because it's something simple that I could throw on to go like a nude sheer type of color. So um, that one, again, is in the buff. Six dollars. Then I got another one. Sweet nectar. My cousin got this one too. And um I don't really know how this one looks, but I know it has like little specks of glitter in it. But um I'll swatch that one for you. And in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Um I did want to tell you guys that I have a HD camera to record with now. I know this week I kind of slack on the videos. Usually I try to come out with videos every day. But I started using the HD camera, which this is not, that's not the camera I'm on now. I'm using my regular camera now because I really wanted to do a video. And I'm just so frustrated with the HD camera that. Anyway, I have an HD camera because I wanted to improve the quality of my videos. I've recorded a total of about four or five different videos on this camera and I can't upload any of them. I got so frustrated the other day because someone asked me to do an eyeliner tutorial. I did it and I was so frustrated that I couldn't get it up that I uploaded it straight from YouTube which took an hour and a half for a 15 minute video. So I don't plan to do that again. So because I really edit my movies through Windows Movie Maker on this camera and I can't do that with the HD camera because it saves an MOV. I have to wait till I get, which will probably be this weekend, the proper program to edit the videos. So if I do videos this weekend or for the next four days, I'm going to give myself time to really get things together. Um, probably won't be tutorials. And if it is, it's going to be something very simple. And... um. Because when it comes to tutorials, I've been doing the best I can with this camera, but I know the quality isn't that great. So I won't be doing those until I can get the HD camera up and going. The way, well, actually edit it because the camera's up and going, but I need to edit the, the, the videos. So if I come to you guys with videos on this camera, it's going to be hauls and reviews. And I'm going to go see my sisters this weekend, so I'm going to do a couple makeovers while I'm there for my blog and all that. So... That's what I'll use this camera for until I get all that up and going. But I did want to tell you guys that I finally got an HD camera that I can use and record with. And um, as soon as I get situated, you guys will have uh, better quality videos.
tutorials to see because I hate when I do a look on this camera it's really pretty in person and when I upload it it looks like nothing's going on and in person it's a banging look I hate that and this is a good camera oh anyway that's it for tonight I've carried this video on long enough just rambling on my videos tend to be long anyway at this point I don't really care when you guys are ready to start watching you will but I just like to be informative I guess that's what you could say I want to show y'all a swatch of this lip gloss if I could ever get it open they had it like plastic all the way up okay so that's what it looks like I should have smeared it out huh I just made it look all nasty that's what it looks like it's kind of pretty I like it so anyway that's what's going on with the camera and all that so I'm on top of that for you guys like I said with the subscribers that I do have I plan to make quality videos I don't care if there's only five I'm not going to give you guys crap so that's it for tonight I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on if you guys don't hear from me in a couple of days I'll always have something on my blog no matter what's going on with cameras and videos I'm going to do blogs but um as far as YouTube I got to get that together so once again please check out my blog www.blogspot no <laughs> www.darkskingirlsincluded.blogspot.com I don't know why it was just so hard for me to remember that. If you have um, any prayer requests or you want to hear sermons, um, check out our church website, www.soulsharvestfellowship.org. Um, I don't have a Twitter, but if you guys want to check me out via Facebook, um... I was going to say you could look me on, up on Facebook, but I don't know if I want to put my name out there like that right now, so never mind. Uh, so anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and everyone who's given me their support so far. And um, I think that's basically it. I hope you guys have a wonderful Memorial Day, just in case I don't get a chance to do another video before then. do want to tell you guys Happy Memorial Day. And hopefully I will be back as soon as possible, sometimes um, within the next four days with some videos. So, love you guys. Have a good night. Bye.